Welcome back to the next round of Footy Feud as we continue to preview the 2014 MLS season. We are back to the top. The team captains, Greg Lawless, Alexi Lawless. Let's go to the next survey. Okay. Good to see you again. <laughs> All right, fellas. Mom says you should call. Okay. The brothers Lawless. We asked a host of people from around the MLS world and the top a host? five answers host. are on the board. What was this year's best off-season move? Greg Lawless. Jermaine Defoe. Greg goes with Jermaine Defoe to Toronto FC. Is it up on the board? The number two answer. No Alexi, you have a chance to steal here if you can get the number one answer. No pressure. Michael Bradley. Alexi's going to go really? with that's, his that's the one you teammate you on sure? Toronto FC, change that? Michael Bradley. Are you sure? Is it up Can on the board? Okay. Easy money. Wow. Good. The domination Perfect. continues. Yet again, I win. Pass or play, Alexi? We always play. We're going to play. We're going to play. We always <laughs> play. All right, Kobe Jones. The best off-season move in MLS this year. Who do you have? I think it's going to be Johnson to D.C. Eddie Johnson to DC. Yes. What are your expectations from from him this well, year? High expectations. I think he's going to have to be the star up top. He's going to have to put the ball in the back of the net. The pressure's on him to perform. He always wanted to be the man, the lone man. Well, now he's got it. Do we have Eddie Johnson on the board? Yeah. The number answer. three right. answer. Thanks for clapping, guys. <laughs> Luke Wildman, you are up. Two answers on the board. Best off-season move in MLS. Philadelphia Union, Murray Sidhu. Good. All right, Maurice Sadu, give me your expectations for what you think Maurice Sadu is going to bring this season. Well, when he came in at Toronto FC, he was still very young, but he made a big impact very early. And I think that uh, after the time when he's not really had regular, as regular playing time as he would like, it's going to do him the world of good to get regular action in MLS and a big contribution in the midfield for Philly this year. So right. he's got to be on the board at number four. We will see if they continue to go in order with Maurice Adu. Wow. I'm not sure if this is easy or it's just easy for the rats. But just too good. One answer left on the board. No strikes against your team. What was this year's best off-season move? I'm going to stick with TFC. People are on TFC. We're going to Julio Cesar. All right, Julio Cesar. I've asked the other guys. Even, even though I think Joe Bindick can get the job done just fine. Starting goalkeeper in the World Cup for the host. One answer is left on the board. Julio Cesar, is he up there? He is not. Sorry, Andrew That's my Weeby. first miss. I just want you guys to know that. Two Toronto answers is enough. And Alexi Lawless, I'll ask you the question one more time. What off-season move was this year's best in MLS? Samuel from uh, LA. What's the dude from... Uh, uh, I think, you, I think you're supposed to give your answer. I know, but what's the dude? The Gaston, what's the dude Gaston for, Fernandez. There, all right. Uh, Gaston Fernandez. What, what do you think? Samuel right. or Gaston? What do you think? The goalkeeper right. six second rules. All right. <laughs> Gaston Fernandez for uh, Portland. Everybody knows that they need help up top, uh, and that's the missing piece for uh, Caleb Porter and Merritt Paulson's uh, uh, little thing that they got going up there. I don't know if this is the guy. I don't know if it ends up being Rudy or whatever, but everybody's real high on him. I think that if they click the way they clicked last year and you throw in a guy who understands uh, how to play, he can score a lot of goals and be really, really effective. Okay, Alexi Lalas going with Gaston Fernandez. I think he's a good fantasy pick as well. I'll plug MLS Fantasy. Uh, you guys can go to fantasy.mlssoccer.com. Sign up for that. He's on my team, Andrew Wiebe. I, not on my team. Not going with him. All right. Do we have Gaston Fernandez? We do not, unfortunately. The buzzer's not involved. Big Red doesn't get anything right. All right, one answer on the board, two strikes. I think this was a stellar pickup for L.A. Samuel up top, another Brazilian, bringing him into the galaxy. Dynamic forward, brings another dimension as far as instead of just having two smaller players, as far as Landon and Keane, you have a big striker that also has the knack of being at the right place at the right time. Good answer. Right. Good answer. Good answer. That's Good answer. why. That is a big, <laughs> giant answer from Kobe Jones. Do we have Samuel on the board, or Greg's team has a chance to steal? Ah, no love. 
We are heading across the table to TBDFC. You poor, poor team name. It's really not, not holding up. Best off-season move in MLS. I'll go with Marco Papa. Marco Papa to the Seattle Sounders. Jason, who do you have? I would say Tim Laiwiki to Toronto Please FC. <laughs> yeah. Tim Laiwiki to Toronto FC is an interesting way to look at or it. Or Oscar Pereja <laughs> FC Dallas. Taylor Twelman. Is Marco that, Papa. Is that your answer? Oh, Marco he's Papa. Going with, he's going with Papa. Greg, the best off-season move in MLS. You, got, you know it's you wrong, but you got two guys six. that voted for it. Now what are you going to do, huh? All right, big timer, what are you going to do now? Marco Papa to the Seattle Sounders. Greg is going to go with Marco Papa of the Seattle Sounders for the steal. Do we have Marco Papa? No. Yeah, that's right. Oh, boy. Greg decided. <laughs> the Rats continue to dominate. Let's see who that last answer was at number five. It was Oscar Pereja. Hey, who was wrong? Are you kidding? Taylor, I'm not going to lie, Taylor. I tried to I help know you, you there. I you tried gave it to, to me. Say, and I'm like, no, no, is no. Is that Marco your Papa. answer, Taylor? Oscar Pereja going to FC Dallas could mean good things for that team. We will see. Check back tomorrow. We will have another edition of Footy Feud here on MLSsoccer.com as we continue to preview the 2014 season.